A prison rights group protests the treatment of supervillains in the nation's magnetic detainment cubes. A local dad thought he could make it out of a zoo without buying his kids light-up shit. And a pigeon wishes just once it could complete a head movement smoothly. Stripped down to its essential ingredients to provide as clean a high as possible, this is the Onion Week in Review. This week, sources confirm that Iraqis have somehow managed to screw up the stable, completely functional democracy the US left them with back in 2011. Despite having been provided with strong leadership and a high highly trained police force capable of responsibly keeping the region safe, Iraq's citizens reportedly dropped the ball entirely on what experts note really should have been a walk in the park. Millions of frustrated Americans across the country asked this week why the nation's struggling mental health system couldn't just get it together and stop feeling sorry for itself. Exasperated citizens told reporters that they had lost all patience with the ailing network's failure to perform basic tasks such as routine mental health evaluations and emergency counseling. Look, I get it. Everyone goes through a rough patch. Just look at the education system. I know times are tough, but things are never going to improve unless the system decides it wants to get better. A new report released this week by the Department of Health and Human Services found that the typical man is on average 4,000% less capable in a fight than they predicted. The trick is to just keep your fists real tight and punch with your knuckles if you really want to fuck somebody up. I mean, you hope it doesn't come to the point where you have to grab a bar stool and smash it over somebody's head, but if he's being a real dick and you need to draw a little blood, you don't really have a choice. And in this week's local news, the Coast Guard plans to let a stranded yacht owner sweat it out a little more. In other news, a new study finds that more men are opting to be in the room when their wife conceives their baby. An area man is unaware all of his friends think of him when they want to put things into perspective. And three dozen chemical and emotional responses are activated by the phrase pigs in a blanket. Like God, I have crafted this review for the past six days. But as I have no obligation to perform his holy duties, I will take no rest. For more, keep checking. Checking the onion.com.